This new new generation, which you know, people are starting to forget about our law, our culture. There are new problems coming in: camels and wildfires, bushfires, um, climate changes. Happy is um, creating jobs for younger people. Working with rangers, working with the high PA, makes us as a community strong. IPA is about looking after animals, plants, trees, dream sites, what else, and we want to look after them and get them back and start to look after them with our young rangers. IPA is really important for our people and our country. We need to be able to look after our country very well because that's where our most ancestral spirits people are still living today. And we respect that. The Southern Tanami Indigenous Protected Area is the largest protected area on, this, on the Australian landmass. It's over 100,000 square kilometres, so that's over 10 million hectares. That's 30% bigger than the size of Tasmania, so it's a pretty big area of land. It's a big area that three communities look after the area. Yindamu, Nyirpi and Hulara, like looking after the whole area of the Southern Tanami. All the Walbury people up, all join up to look after this wonderful country up there with non aboriginal people helping, you know, like with computer, whatever. So it's been really good. IPA, it's a really good thing because they are working very hard to keep our country strong, you know, so that we can have more animals, you know, come back. Even those ones that are beginning to starting to, you know, fade away. And it contains areas of very high biodiversity conservation significance. So it, it, it's basically maintaining the ecosystem and habitats for a lot of Australians threatened species, such as the bilby, the mulgara, the great desert skink. So it's maintaining the biodiversity of this region, but it's also maintaining the cultural values that are very important to the traditional owners. This whole country, it's really important to us because it's our land, our life and our law. That's where, our, where we get our culture from, from our grandfathers, passed down to us from generation to generation. The Southern Tanami Indigenous Protected Area is the product of over five years of intensive participatory planning and land management activities undertaken by the Aboriginal landholders of the region and Central Land Council. It builds on the work undertaken during the 1980s and 1990s to protect the Mala or Rufus Hare Wallaby. At this time, the Southern Tanami region contained the last remaining populations of the Mala in Australia. The Conservation Commission of the Northern Territory worked with Aboriginal landholders to look after the Mala. I used to think when I used to work back in that time, one day we'll get Ayaba, young people and all, to work on this country. So that dream came true. For me, as a ranger coming out bush with some of the other rangers, we just feel really good, you know, just going out, being on country, trying to look after those endangered animals, get rid of the ferals and look after the water holes. A little bit of burnings to add to um, manage um, bush fire. We are very um, proud and proud for our young people 
because they are doing the job that are there for us, looking after our country, we can see that they are doing a very good job. We learn from um, all people and learn from careers. They come in and teach us like what time to burn and, and we learn from all people too. The IPA is for like every little people and like something for us, for a lot of us. Like we can work down both way, like Kari away and Yap away to so, um, look after the area. When we go out on bush trips, those activities that we do at bush, maybe show it to the little ones. If the little ones grow up, we'll show it to them so that they can maybe be um, interesting in our jobs that we're doing now. My hope is that they learn more better educated on working and more job for the young people if they wanted to look after the country. When you look after the country, you know, it looks after you. Thank you.